A few years ago, we took a look at the Q25-370Z, a pretty fun sports car by SNT. Well, they're back again with a new car. Well, kind of a new car, this time the 370Z with Wi-Fi. So let's check this out and see what's different. So here it is, the Q25 370Z Wi-Fi Edition. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Q25 series, there are one 100 scale cars with very realistic features like turn signals, brake lights, even digital proportional steering. Now, they also have FPV versions of it, so you can have a really immersive experience while driving these cars. Now, this is obviously a pre-release version of this car, so there's really no specs on here or no specs on the website, but I do suspect this car here is gonna perform very similarly to the original 370Z car. So with that said, let's open this up and see what's inside. Here's your car right here. And you have a backdrop here with the 370Z car, just like this original one. Pretty nice artwork on here. We'll leave that right here so we can take a look at it. And here it is, here's your car. This thing looks very identical to the original. We'll take a look at that. Besides that you have this little platform here so you can use this as a display, a USB-C cable to charge the car, and that's it. Now, I'm kind of surprised because typically these cars do come with an FPV camera, and I'll see if that actually works on this car. Let's compare the two. They look identical. Obviously, this is a pink version of the car, and everything here is very, very similar. Nothing here is different, so there's really a hard way to distinguish which one has the Wi-Fi versus the traditional car on here. Now, this one here wasn't shipped with an FPV camera, but I'm curious to see if the FPV camera is gonna work on here. You just remove the sunroof, and then I do see the connection on here, so I'm curious to see if it's gonna work. Now, the cool thing about the Wi-Fi version here is obviously you can download an app to your mobile device, whether it be iOS or Android, and then you can do all kind of customizable features to it, whether it be controlling the lights or actually driving this with your phone or app, which is really cool. So we all have cell phones on us, so this makes it a more compact situation. Wherever you're traveling, you can bring this with you, put this in your pocket, and we always have our cell phones with us so we can use our cell phones to actually control and drive this car. So let's go online, look at the app. Okay, so now that I have my app store here on my cell phone, what you do is just type in S-N-I-C-L-O, and that should bring up the app. Here it is right here. This is a recently released app on here and just download it and it's pretty straightforward. So last update was May 10th, so just a few days ago. So here's our app right here. And that looks pretty awesome. And here's the interface for the app. You can obviously control it with your sticks to left and right, up and down, and then you have all the features up here as well. So we're gonna see if this works once we connect this to the car. So let's connect it and see how this works. So now you wanna power this up. I'm gonna power on the car with this one button here, power on, and that should put the Wi-Fi module on. And let's see if it can connect to its network here. SNI CELO, so SNCLO Turbo, and now it prompts you for the password. Now, according to this, my documentation, we're just gonna put the S N I C L O dot com and see if that connects. All right, so we're connected at this point. I'm gonna go back to the app. Here's my app right here. Boom. So let's hit connect and see if this works. Connect. I don't want my location, so do not allow. Okay, oh, that's interesting. So that means they might have a future feature in this and eventually, so no FPV for now, since this one doesn't come with the camera on here. And then we have Q25, Q38, and off-road. So I don't know what the Q38 is. That's probably a future car down in the works. Ooh, Q38, there it is, it looks like a bus or something. Am I connected? Ooh, I'm connected. It's weird, it disconnected on its own. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through the settings here and see how this one works. So, so here's the menu right here. You have basic, you have speed display, obviously enable push, and then you have the lights. You can control the lights on here. Headlights are on. It's pretty cool. Can I, uh, let's see here if I can change that. Yeah, you can change the headlights off or bright, turn light on or off, brake light on or off. You can customize that obviously. Backup light on or off. And this one, I don't know what that means, so I'm not gonna select it, but there you go. Here's your underlight right here. You can obviously change the colors of it. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. You can see it changing as, hopefully you can see that. As I change each one, the colors change. So that's pretty awesome. Then you have control. If you're left-handed or right-handed, you can change the throttle, so like mode one or mode two, like for FPV controller. And the external connector, it says not connected, and you can key the mapping or change what the buttons do on here but I'm not gonna do that. And that's referring to this controller right here. So you can actually use the external controller 
beginner mode. We'll keep that on for now, beginner mode. And I'm sure that probably changes the power or something. And then you have other stuff on here like your user agreement and your privacy policy for this app. Let's see how I can do this. Besides that, if you do register and log in for this app, you also have options here for like mail and the home button. And once you log in, you can have more features if you want to. But right now, I just wanna see how this thing here dries, if it dries pretty well. And let's see, if I go up, does it go? Oh, wow. <laughs> it works. It's pretty cool. Looks like there's a slight delay, maybe. I'm in beginner mode so, too, so that might be causing delay in there. But it is Wi Fi based. The steering trim. Oh, that's pretty cool. You have challenges. Obviously, I'm not logging, so I'm not, I won't have access to the challenges on here. And you have your login right here. So you can register this app and then have some pretty fun here. Let's see if I go out of uh, beginner mode and see what happens. And beginner mode, take it out of beginner mode. Does that make it any faster? Oh yeah, I think it's faster. Let's see if it, let's go back to beginner mode and see if it really just changed the speed. I think that's what it does. Yeah, beginner mode just changes the speed from 70% to 100%. I like it. I'm gonna go back to expert mode. Am I expert? I don't know if I'm an expert, but here's another option here, motion control. I'm gonna turn that on and see what happens. Oh yeah, it does work. Okay, so if I go forward and back and I tilt. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, oh wait, hold on. Oh wow. Oh, motion control works pretty good. But the only thing is that the joystick for your left hand, the throttle doesn't self-center in the, um, what mode is this called again? The throttle doesn't recenter, So it's almost like a FPV controller. It just stays in that mode. So if I go up, it just stays up, which is cool. And then I can just use the accelerometer to steer left or right. There it goes, left or right, reverse. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's cool to steer with your phone here. All phones have gyros in them. So let's put it back to regular mode and see what happens here. Motion control off. Now I wanna see if I can use the FPV camera with it. And now you can buy these Q25 cars with or without the camera, the FPV version. And you can also buy them with or without the goggles. I have my goggles right here. And let's see if this thing here actually binds to my goggles. I'm gonna put it on. Here we go, camera's on. I think there's a way to put it on. All right, so I think, it, oh, interesting. All right, so earlier on in the beginning, there was an option for an FPV version and this isn't the FPV version of it. So that's why it probably wasn't gonna work, but I think they can integrate that into it, honestly. Here we go, uh, FPV. Is this still gonna connect? I don't see a network for that. So I'm guessing Maybe in the next version, they're gonna have the camera be able to broadcast Wi-Fi or an image. That's what I'm assuming here. Because if you look at the app right now with that version, there's a camera right here. And it says you can start recording, but this obviously isn't that version. So that's not gonna work. If you hit the home button, you can go to their social media sites and get more information on this. This interface is pretty cool, by the way, guys. Pretty awesome. I think there's a way I can connect this camera regardless. So let's see. Now, can I use this with the traditional remote? That's the that's the one question I have now. And let's see if I can connect to it. I don't know if that's gonna work. So if I hit this for three seconds, I was hoping that I can connect this to my traditional radio and use it as well if I don't have a Wi-Fi. Okay, I have my box still on here. If I put this on here, let's see here. Did I do that wrong? It's it's actually powered now. I can see a red light on here. And I have an image in my goggles. So it is broadcasting, guys. You can see it right there. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't give it to you, which is interesting. Okay, so this is pretty cool, guys. I'm sure s and is gonna make some more features with this car here. Based upon what we look at with the app, there are gonna be some more features, obviously with the camera. You can connect the camera eventually in the future cars. This is just the first iteration of this on here. 
but I'm interested in why they have the connectors on here. So maybe there'll be a camera where I can connect this with via the app. Yeah, that's something to look for in the near future. All right, so this is a pretty cool evolution of the 370Z guys. This thing is pretty awesome guys. I do wish though I had the feature to swap between the actual physical controller and the app on your phone. Maybe that's coming in the near future, but that would give this a lot more flexibility, especially that these cards here are very, very similar, but I don't know what electronics they put in here to take up the space or maybe to know to switch between the app, the Wi-Fi app, and then the actual controller guys. But guys, these cards here are very, very fun, very, very light. And uh, yeah, with these FPV cameras, it's a very, very immersive experience, guys. So let me know what you think about these 370Z cars. These are pretty much one of my favorite ones just because of the car design they're using the actual car. A pretty fun and exciting car here, the Nissan 370Z. And yeah, I do think that ST will be making more of these cars, maybe in some other body style, make some models. And yeah, if you're interested in that, guys, I'll have links to all these cars down below. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.